Greetings from Smart Agro once again. Today we are at one of our post nurseries. You see, on our food here, we have different, different compartments. <laughs> Let me put it that way. We have the pre nursery there. We have here is another post nursery. Um, in fact, we've not done any video here for your own Parisa, but today we want you to see what goes on. But before then, I would like to um, thank you once again for being there for us, watching us. In fact, most of our subscribers have been so loyal to us. Whichever thing that they practice on the platform, they try as much as possible to um, get close to me to see. Now, uh, basically, um, I'm going to highlight on what transpired at the um, pre nursery. If you look at our pre nursery, on our idea to put coconut water at the height of um, plantains to banana sucker multiplication. We told you that coconut water injection is one of the most powerful um, procedures that we can inflict in our work and I think it will be very positive for us. Because of that, we have followed um, good procedures and we are getting results. I told you that whichever thing that we post on Smart Agro, we try as much as possible to also let you see the end result of it now about two weeks ago or 14 days ago we did a practical work on coconut water injection that is diluted coconut water that was one of our treatment undiluted coconut water and then also we did another one as a control for us to see the impact of coconut water before we move in there, I tell you, coconut water contains plant growth hormones or regulators. Example, the cytokines and then the gibberellins. Therefore, we took the pain to get ourselves coconut and you came to the field to do those practical examples that if you are to multiply a uh, plantain suckers at the post nursery, is it good to use diluted uh, coconut water? Is it good to use undiluted coconut water? Is it good to even not use anything at all? We started the process. We had our diluted coconut water. And then we had the undiluted one. We injected it into our tissues. That is the plantain suckers that were due for multiplication at the post nursery. We did that. And... At the seventh day, we realized that the undiluted coconut water treatment gave us the first shoot, that is the first germination. And it took six days further for the subsequent ones to also germinate. So we realized that the diluted one also gave us only one um, seedling. And then the undiluted, the raw coconut water gave us two whilst the control has so far given us two seedlings. It is only 14 days. We are still monitoring closely to see the end result that will come. Though the undiluted, the diluted, the control, the out, but we are watching closely for a period of 40 days so that we can conclude that if you want to do multiplication and want to use a plant growth hormone then it is a natural protocol our organic protocol coconut water and some other one of which very soon i'll tell you but upon request because all the research work that we are doing here i think it's the results still remain my intellectual property and the intellectual property of smart agro innovation if you want deep clarifications please you can call our number you can contact us through uh, mails or even uh, a whatsapp contact so that we can communicate and if possible if you need it for research work we are also here to aid you in your research work especially academic institutions if you want to do any research work in the field of plantains or bananas you can call us and we'll give you the guidelines and the direction thank you very much for being there for us this is smart agro innovation once again before we conclude, let us go to the field and watch what we saw, what is happening.
We are still at the post nursery. I believe you remember this experiment as we said on our channel already. We were trying to assess coconut water, diluted coconut water, undiluted coconut water, and then raw, nothing. We realized that they are still in the germination stage. This was the diluted coconut water. It gave one. Within 14 days, there is one sprout. Here, there are two sprouts, and that is the undiluted coconut water. And then, nothing was applied. That's also giving us two. But, exactly the seventh day, we had the first germination from the undiluted coconut water. And that is how it is going. From the first seven days, we had this. We are still monitoring the progress of this experiment. I told you earlier that we had diluted coconut water, undiluted coconut water, and then raw, just water that we applied. And these are the results we are getting within two weeks period. We are still monitoring closely to see that if you want to do your multiplication, is it appropriate to use coconut water or not? Is it appropriate to use um diluted coconut water on diluted coconut water or do it raw after everything we keep showing you the result nothing is done as smart ago that is not real all that we do is physical and we always have result for you so as you can see though this one has given us one but i'm telling you that at the end of the experiment we have not ended yet we are monitoring for 40 good days and it is likely that sproutings may come again. So let's monitor closely. I want you to be along with us. On top of the video, you can see that the episode that involved the whole process is there. So you can watch it as well. This is Smart Agro Innovation, your channel that teaches much about agriculture. My name is Anthony Baby, presenting on Smart Agro Innovation, Western of Ghana. West Africa. I would like to use this same opportunity to thank and applaud most of our subscribers, especially Brian Taylor, Reverend Alexaki, and then my own man Alex, all in the United Kingdom, for making Smart Agro proud all the time. Continue to watch us and we salute you for the good ways that you have been doing. Shout out to all our subscribers. Keep learning and let's move on. Thank you very much. This is Smart Agro. Fellow viewers, welcome once again to Smart Agro Innovation. I think that is what is transpiring on the field. You have seen it yourself. We are still monitoring closely with the result and we will not um, hide it from you. So you see what is going on in the field of agriculture thank you so much for being there with us i must use this opportunity to thank some of our subscribers who have been with us who call us all the time and who are also practicing agri in another level based on the work that we do over here whichever thing that we do at smart agro is real and physical and we entreat all our subscribers to try hands on them should you encounter anybody you can call us for business when it comes to plantain and banana saka multiplication thank you very much and our subscriber who has been who is always the first person to watch us brian taylor um greetings to you and greetings to friends in united kingdom friends in the united states of america friends in nigeria friends in the philippines friends in africa friends in ghana cameroon uh la Côte d'Ivoire, togo and most india and then most of the countries who are uh, which has been watching us all the time thank you very much and today this particular video is dedicated to the people of Barbados because brian taylor this is for you let me hear from you thank you for watching us